Barb, you're on News 96.5. Go ahead. Hi. Good morning. Hey. I I am an active, I have an active real estate license. All right. But I hire a property manager to handle my rentals because right. I don't want to have to interact with the tenants and that Got type it. of thing. All right. And I have asked for copies of the tenant's um, application and their credit report, and the property manager says they can't legally give me a copy. And I don't know why, because I'm the property owner, plus I have a real estate license and have access yeah. to that. Well, Barb, I, I can't tell you whether they are right, wrong, or indifferent. I would say this, that um, some of that credit application certainly has some private information on it, like social security numbers and so forth. For them to have done a credit report on a tenant, the tenant would have had to sign a consent for that, and that consent may be listed to that property management company only. If you want to get a copy of these in the future, you should have them modify their form that says that they consent to not only give it to the property management company, but to the owners as well. Now, let's bring Barb back up. Barb, are you still there? Yes. Barb, I am always telling listeners about how little luck my listeners have had with property management companies and stated another way how much often they call and complain about property management companies and then just out of curiosity i had a loyal listener call me and say tom i'm a property manager why are you always slamming property managers and i said well you know tell me about yourself you know i'll i'll promote you if i'm a believer i didn't hear from her again maybe she's listening right now but barb how's your property manager no names please uh, terrible okay it's not just They're me all then terrible okay I'm on my third one all They're right all so, Barb, from your from your years of experience, what does it take to get a good property manager? What what's the quali what's the qualifiers? Well, I thought years in business and uh, expertise. Yeah. Would and and to to make make sure that the property is being maintained. Is that the it biggest seems issue? Like all they're interested in is getting in a tenant. They don't care who it is. And then getting that monthly check, I just spent $8,000 on a rental property that was managed by a property management. Meaning that the tenants tore it up and the property manager was not paying attention. Exactly. So, Barb, just out of curiosity, when you look at your management agreement, does it require the property manager to do at least a drive-by once a month? Yeah, well, not once a month, but... Uh, it's stated in, in, in there. They're pretty vague about it. They're yeah, all vague. I'm sure they are. They don't want to be committed. All right. And, of course, they can say they do that anyway, and how would you know what the inside looks like? Yeah. Okay. Well, Barb, thank you for calling and for uh, confirming what I've known to be true just from my limited experience, Barb, and best wishes to you. Now, if you're a so property... So what do you recommend you do? <laughs> Well, Barb, Make their contract, the property manager's contract, as strict as the as the property lease. Barb, I don't. I think that there is no solution to this other than you are doing your own drive by once a month to your properties and taking a look about what's going on there. And I, I don't know any other solution, Barb. Now I can tell you this: I own a rental property. And that rental property is in my neighborhood. So that when I rent to tenants, I say, look, I'm driving by here twice a day. I know what's going on. And they'll look at me and like, uh-oh, this is not the guy for me. Or they'll say, hey, no problem. Yeah. So so here's what I want to say. If you're a property manager and you're out there listening to me right now and you're saying, you know what, I'm a great property manager. Hey, I invite you to call me or contact me. We'll talk to you on the air. We'll do a little quiz. We'll see what it takes to be a good property manager. And that is beyond just collecting rents and taking your cut, but taking care of the property and the landlord as well. That's what we're asking.